What is going on guys? This is Imperator Leet and thank you for joining me on my channel here. Um, just a little video today, kind of showing everybody kind of my little setup, and how I have over 30 terabytes of storage, hard drives that I've bought over time and whatnot. Um, I'm not a professional, nothing on my desk is professionally set up. Um, for all you people that are OCD or would do it differently, that's fine. Uh, don't pick on me too much, all right? Uh, let's zoom in. Let's, feature some of the drives here. This is only what I have plugged in right now. Some are empty, uh, understandable, because I just got some new ones and I'm kind of shuffling a lot of things around right now. But um, all right, back to it and let's see. We're um, just kind of showing the desk a bit here. I like to collect my Funko Pops, so there's some right up top there. Um, quite a few. I, I got a lot of them at Barnes & Noble. Off to the right here we got my uh, No Man's Sky Collector's Edition die-cast metal ship. My laptop to the right. Even got my No Man's Sky Traveler pin. Let me zoom in. Uh, or focus. <laughs> Alright, we got Star Wars figurines going on there. Nothing spectacular. Just some cheapos that I got on Amazon. Um, oh yeah, my guy from uh, freaking Game of Thrones at the Dragon. I got the Joker down there, my laptop, nothing spectacular, again, just, uh, I use it more or less to watch YouTube, kind of do my Discord chats and all that. Um, keyboards all lit up, that's a mess right now, actually, I didn't even clean it for, for the video, I'm kind of embarrassed. Alright, to the point of the video, here's my uh, tower. Inside the tower, I do have some hard drives in there, I've got at least two 500 gig SSDs. Um, I want to say that I have um, two terabytes internal and a four terabyte internal. Let's pop these open here real quick though. Um, yes, I'm doing some post commentary here. Like I uh, listened to all the um, commentary during the original recording on my phone and it just was horrible. So inside there I got um, four terabytes. Oh yeah, it's a CyberPower PC. Um, 4 terabyte Western Digital Red NAS drive. Um, as you can tell, I like the color blue. Most of my stuff is set up as blue. So 4 terabyte there. Underneath is the 2 terabyte, followed by two 500 gig internal SSDs. Uh, side shot here, yeah, we're just running a GTX 1070, nothing that amazing. Um, it's pretty sad that that's becoming almost like old tech now compared to these RTX 2080s and so on. Dust on top of my Pro Box. We got two uh, external one terabyte hard drives on top, followed by a four terabyte external uh, hard drive, all Western Digital. I got my Pro Box here. I think that's by MediaTek. Um, so let's go ahead and pop this thing open. It is it is plugged in right now, but uh, should still be able to open this up. Take a look at the drives inside. You got your outside part there. Um, off to the right there where I'm pointing, that is a M.2 uh, SSD that's plugged, uh, set up into an external enclosure that I bought. I originally had it installed on the motherboard, but I had some uh, boot issues there and I couldn't get them figured out. So now it's just a USB flash drive of sorts, but SSD style, nice and fast. So um, let's go ahead and pop this off here. I got my blue LED strips going on in the background. So four, four hard drives here. The bottom one is a white label enterprise drive by Western Digital. I got that through Best Buy as an external hard drive. And so when I shucked it, I put it into the desktop and it would not power on or recognize. I did some Googling and searching and whatnot. It turns out that uh, Western Digital doesn't like it now when people shuck their drives, their external drives, and use them as an internal drive because they're so cheap. Um, I think I got that drive, that 8 terabyte, for like $100 Black Friday last year or something, or during the holiday season. So I put it into this external enclosure, 4 bay, four bay external enclosure by ProBox, uh, MediaTek maybe, I, I can't remember the brand. I'll probably drop a link in the uh, description box there. And um, it holds uh, four, four hard drives, um, at least 8 terabytes each if you like. So right there in that little enclosure, you could have 32 terabytes. I'm not sure if it was updated or set up to where you could take a 10 terabyte in there. I have not tried it, although I definitely want to try it sometime. So, um, all right, I think, uh, yeah, we'll pop these back on here. And 
um, I just, I mean, all these hard drives, you're probably wondering, why do I have so much? Well, I just, I like to download a lot of stuff, okay, guys? I mean, I got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of PC games on Steam. Um, I download a lot of movies and TV shows. I have, I like to have digital copies of all the physical copies of things that I own. Uh, sort of like a backup. I don't use the physical media that much anymore. Um, so, you know, kind of is what it is. Uh, here on the desk, though, God, man, I can't get this video to focus. I'm using my Samsung Galaxy S8, and I don't know, it's in 4K, but it's really not doing a good job of recording. But anyways, um, we got the Samsung portable SSD T5. That's a 500 gig USB 3.0 USB-C style. I can plug that into my phone and have 500 gigs to go portable with me on my phone. So if I want to record anything, I can store it on there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've got other hard drives that I don't have installed. Um, I think I got a couple of other one terabytes. I got another SSD laying around somewhere. Um, and I do plan on expanding on my storage and filling it rather than having like that eight terabyte drive empty right now. So all in due time, it takes time, you know, and I work a lot, so, um, but yeah, hopefully you like the little setup. Um, I use Rain Meter. Rain Meter. It's a app that you can get on your desktop to add all sorts of widgets and cool things. Like you got the little equalizer thing down there. The uh, sound bar going up. Uh, another zoom in there. You can see the hard drives. So one last time. But uh, yeah, I like the setup. I got some decent speakers. Um, I'm just a small time YouTuber. I'm not really doing anything spectacular not doing it for the money just it's a hobby it's an interest so uh, right now on that e drive that's that two terabyte where I have my steam games installed and um, we'll go through the list here 371 games and only half of them are installed so I'm gonna have to move those over to like a six terabyte possibly an eight terabyte drive and how quickly my collection is expanding so TV shows um, got various uh, SSDs for gaming for certain games that are really intensive on the load times. So, 4K monitor, Samsung UHD. Uh, it's pretty good, but I definitely want to upgrade to something a little bit more geared towards gaming, like with the FreeSync, G Sync, something like that, better refresh rate. Um, something that won't give me so much screen tearing. So, but thank you for joining me. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the video and. Um, Definitely drop me a like, any comments, any questions about like what specific hard drives I'm using or anything you might want to know. So um, definitely drop me a like, subscribe, comment. Uh, otherwise, thank you for joining. Thank you for watching and um, hope you enjoyed. Have a great day, guys.